Talking. 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 Threads. A brief history of me. So it kind of all started out with 10 minutes in bedtime, which I used to ask my mother to read to me every night, which was kind of ironic considering that it had very few words in it. Then things like Sheila the Brave, the absolutely essential Eloise, and this book, The Book Who Spoke Colors. I really liked this one. Then, Barefoot Book of Princesses, The Orphan Singer, Completely and Totally Domestious, The English Roses. I had no idea what some of these books were saying, but I found them quite interesting nonetheless. Crickwing, which is a book about a disabled cricket. Um, Sweet Clara and the Freedom Quilt, which I really loved, even though I had no idea what slavery was at the time. Then, of course, throughout my entire childhood, I'd always ask my mother to read me from Alice. So for the longest time, I absolutely refused to read anything on my own. So my mother had to read me books. That led to this pile. But then, one day in second grade, I found myself with absolutely nothing to do. So I decided to actually read. And that spawned an entirely new set of books and an entirely new story. I started reading Nancy and Plum, which is one of my all-time favorite books. And Island of the Blue Dolphins and The Little Princess. Things like Matilda and The Little Prince. Boy, that book was screwed in my brain. And The Tales of Despera. Aw, The li Brave Little Mouse. I always found the rats rather creepy, though. Then the entire Inkheart series, although I only own the last one because at that time I was very into the public library. And The Doll People, which I have the sequel to. And then, uh, in about fourth grade, I discovered a manga. And that was a little something like this. And around here is when I discovered online scanlations. Now let's take this down before it dies. And then we get to the area I like to call the I don't know what I was doing with my life at this point, but I don't like the place. Graphic novel. Because for some reason I thought that graphic novels were the same thing as manga, and I don't even know what that is. And then yes, I did buy and read the entire Disney fairy series. And I started getting back into, you know, fairy tales. And then, you know, actual fairy tales. And yeah, even a little bit of Twilight. Okay, all of Twilight. I read it. Then, you know, actual books. Maximum Ride. Tried reading that, got really depressed about the, the seventh book. And then this series. Don't know what it is, don't know where it came from, but I love it. So there was that. And then I kind of went back into manga, but kind of not. I ended up with a ton of comic books. Yeah, I had Marvel and DC. I believe I ended up with a ton of both. But I decided I probably like the DC better. And we get closer and closer to now. A couple years after I discovered our criteria, I finally get around to reading all of John Green's books, although two of them have mysteriously gone missing. And then there's this, which I'm technically still in the middle of reading, but I haven't read from it in a while. Let's just say I got into a little bit of denser fiction.